In this video, I'm going to be taking you through three different med ball variations that's going to help improve knockout power for boxing and MMA. Check it out. All right, guys, so like I've said in previous videos before when we've been working on uh, rotational power or explosive power work, uh, we're going to keep the, the weight between, uh, I'd say, around 8 to 12 or 10 to 12 if you're a male, female, 6 to 8, okay? Which, like I said in previous videos before, we want to be moving the ball with intent, with speed, so we want it heavy enough where we're going to still produce force, but not too heavy where we can't move that ball with speed, okay? So the first one is going to be a hop step, so it's a bit dynamic this one, so a little bit of footwork coordination is going to come in here. So hop step, back leg leads, bah, bah. we're going to load up the hip and then rotate, okay? So the, the key here, as we're using, a, you know, we're working a bit more dynamic, we're going to be able to transfer more force, right? Because we've got more weight, more force with that movement, which is going to transfer into your shot. All right, so we're here, elbows in. As we hop step, we load up the back hip here, engage the glutes, engage those obliques, and then rotate. So I'll take you through a few reps of this one. I'm bracing. As I release the ball, I'm getting that full body tension. Be nice and aggressive. One thing you don't want to do with the footwork, see a lot of people doing, is bringing the feet together, okay? Boxing, if you do that, or in MMA, you bring your feet together, you're going to lose your balance, you're going to fall over. So keep proper mechanics, make it as realistic as possible. We're going to be going for about six, uh, sorry, five reps per side, two to th three to five sets, taking that rest in between two minutes, okay? Then we're going to go into a half kneeling or half kneeling position. So legs want to be 90 degrees, front leg 90, back leg 90. My core is braced, my glutes are engaged, so I'm really stiffening up the core. Elbows nice and tight. So the leg that's in front, we're going to be throwing or punching with the opposite side. So hips square, elbows in, slight rotation follow through. A lot of core needs to be engaged here. Make sure we're breathing, we're tucking our stomach in. We're squeezing our glutes nice and tight. <coughs> Try not to collapse with the punch. With the punch though, that means you're not engaging. If you're standing up nice and tall, that means we're really firing our core. We're really working and just staying engaged all the way through. A few more reps. So I'm sort of slightly opening the chest there. Hips want to stay as square as possible and then follow through. If you've got bad knees like me, maybe put a mat down on the floor. Give you some protection there. Five reps per side, guys. Same again, three to five sets. Taking that rest in between. Uh, and then the last one. We're gonna go back to um, the hop step, but we're gonna add a cross now, okay? So, working, still working that movement there, the footwork. So that rather than the rotational toss, we're gonna to come into a, into a cross, okay? That straight punch. So a good way to mimic this is imagine you're sort of cutting off the ring. Same movement, we're just here, here and then obviously we're gonna Add that boxing element in there now as well with that cross. All right, so we're here. Same position as we did with the rotational toss. Elbows in, hop step, feet don't connect, and follow through with that, with that straight punch, that cross. So you feel a few reps. One more. Boom. There we go. Five reps per side. Fast feeting on the hop step. Make sure they're not connecting. 
and then we're following through with, like I said in previous videos, we're really rotating, transferring all that force through the body, ground up, legs, core, out for the fist, okay? Three to five sets, take that minute rest, minute to two, uh, minute to two minutes rest, and then we go again, three to five sets. Guys, if you like this video, please leave a comment below. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.